Hello guys, welcome to the 33 session of Blazor Tutorials for Beginners. In previous session, we have injected built-in service in the component. In this session, we will create a custom service and inject it into the component. For this, I am going to continue with the previous example. I will create a new service in which we will pass the username and obtain profile details from it. So, those two lines will be moved to the service method. Let's create a class GitHub service. Here we require the HTTP client, create a private read only field for it. Add required namespace. Create a constructor. It will inject HTTP client. In component for injecting service, we need to use inject directive. But in the case of class, we need to use the constructor for injecting service. Create public async method. It will return the GitHub profile details model. And takes a username as a parameter. Let's copy those two lines from component to service class. Update username variable. And return details model. Here, our service class is created, but we also need to create an interface for the service. So, right click on the class name. Select Quick Action and Refactoring. Click on Extract Interface. I am going to add the class in the same file. But note that I am placing all class, models and services within page namespace. But you need to place all those files in proper project, namespace or directory as per your application standard. I am placing all in this, the same directory in this tutorials. So you can easily find all the files for a particular session. Here our interface is generated which includes a single method. Now we need to register this service for dependence injection. For this open startup.cs file. In configure service method we need to specify details for services that we want to inject. We can use add singleton, add transient and add scoped method as per our requirement. Here I am going to make this singleton, so use add singleton method. In generic type parameter, we need to pass interface and class type. Now we have added dependency injection for the service. Now we need to inject and use this in a component. Inject GitHub service. Here on submit, call get profile details from the GitHub service and pass username. Save the file and run the project. Open the page. Let's enter Microsoft. Here we got the same output as the previous example. We just moved HTTP request and we did a serialized logic in custom service. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Here in a custom service that we have created, it includes a class and interface. In class, we need to use the constructor to inject services. After creating a service, we need to register it for dependency injection. For this, we need to use 
add singleton, add transient and add scope method and pass interface and class name of service. Like built-in services, custom services also inject using inject directive and you can call its method similarly. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.